this kind of lays it out from a an architectural application standpoint. So what we're really looking at is we have user, all types of users and devices all over the place, right? So we have within your four walls, which is you know typically easier to, to uh, secure, uh, work from home, which is now, you know obviously we're all doing it. Um, travel, that's been an issue for a long time. How do I deal with remote employees that are you know joining you know untrusted Wi-Fi's over the world? And this has been going on, but it's gotten a lot more uh, attention as of recent is OT networks and IOT devices, because typically you can't load agents on those like EDR or some sort of advanced endpoint. So if somehow they have some bad code and it gets installed on your network, um, you need to be able to um, profile that device and be able to deal with it appropriately. And of course, networks have grown, right? It used to just be you know, back, it's been a while since I've been in operations. We were just deploying the first Wi Fi network. So that you know, tells you how long it's been since I was in IT operations. <laughs> but, uh, you know, networks have grown a lot. We rely on a, different, a lot of different technologies. And with uh, 5G becoming uh, WAN like speeds uh, or becoming like uh, desktop speeds, uh, there's more and more devices that are being pushed out to the edge and more applications and data that's actually being pushed out to the edge. Which I always like to talk about. When we started this whole thing with mainframes many, many years ago, everything was centralized. And then, you know, Novell and Windows came along. We went to this kind of decentralized uh, model. And then great technologies like Citrix and VDI came along. And we kind of brought everything back into the data center and we put out thin clients. But we're kind of going back up to the edge again based on things like Docker and, and containerized computing. We can run applications at the edge that we couldn't run before because of the bandwidth that we have and uh, and the horsepower that we have at the edge. So there's some sort of hybrid um, thing going on. And then, of course, you know, introduce cloud, right? <laughs> um, I don't know if any, everybody on this particular call has anything in the cloud. Um, we do a thing called a cyber assess, cyber um, threat assessment, which we call CTAP for short. Uh, we can come in and we can tell you what applications running in the cloud, and sometimes you'd be quite surprised with what we can uh, help you find. So applications data everywhere, and then SecOps. I mean, it, that's a maturity level that um, only organizations typically have that have really deep pockets and a lot of staff. But everybody needs it, right? So um, SecOps is a service. Um, you know, we offer it. You can uh, get that through us through uh, DOF uh, Creations. Um, basically, give you more time back in the day by looking over your shoulder and helping you deal with your cybersecurity challenges in a central, managed, and automated way. 